In today's digital world, no one is safe from cyber attacks. And now with over 130 organizations, including some online retailers, falling victim to a single hacking group's recent phishing campaign, how can you know if your personal information is safe? We'll cover those details and more as we sit down and sync up with Rocket IT's weekly technology update. Hello everyone, I'm Chris Winston, Technology Insider here at Rocket IT, and welcome to Sync Up, your new home for trending technology news. Businesses like Twilio and MailChimp are facing major security issues as one hacking group is responsible for a string of cyber attacks plaguing well-known companies across the United States. In addition to Twilio and MailChimp, it's believed that these cyber criminals compromised a total of 136 organizations. How did these businesses fall victim, you might ask? Simple, a single phishing campaign codenamed Octopus. Now, apparently this campaign has flown under the radar for the last six months, only to be discovered by a cybersecurity research group known as Group IB. In that time, this campaign was able to steal the login credentials of 9,931 individuals, gaining access to corporate networks and industries such as technology, finance, and recruiting. While Twilio, MailChimp, and Clavio have come forward to report breaches, Evidence shows that T-Mobile, Verizon, AT&T, Slack, Twitter, Microsoft, Epic Games, Riot Games, Evernote, HubSpot, and Best Buy were also targeted in the attack. So what exactly was this masterful phishing campaign hackers used to infiltrate some of these organizations? Cybercriminals posed as the single sign-on software company Okta to send fraudulent SMS messages to employees within targeted companies. In these texts, victims were sent a link to a fake login page and asked to enter both their account credentials and multi-factor authentication codes. Unbeknownst to the victims, entering these credentials on the fake login pages sent the information to the hacking group's private Telegram channel. Because single sign-on credentials provide access to multiple applications with just one login, hackers could then use these stolen accounts to navigate across company servers and steal customer data. That customer data was then used to spread the campaign and target more businesses. As of now, information on the hacking group is scarce, but a Twitter and GitHub account associated with the group's leader was traced back to North Carolina. While law enforcement continues to investigate, there are some things that you, a consumer of any of these potentially breached businesses, can do to protect your information. First, if you have an account with any of the previously named organizations, I suggest changing your password. Since the investigation is still ongoing, it's still uncertain how much customer data was stolen. Additionally, keep an eye on your credit cards for suspicious purchases. And finally, if you're going to use a single sign-on service, make sure you're coupling it with a modern MFA. Instead of using an MFA service that relies on texted codes, use an app that creates a continuously changing list of login tokens. For more information or help switching to a modern MFA service, contact Rocket IT using the link in this video's description. And to stay up to date on trending technology news, hit that subscribe button and the bell to catch us on next week's episode of Sync Up with Rocket IT.